Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Empowerment Network. And of course, this is Comfort uh, speaking to you all the way from the United Kingdom today, Saturday, the 3rd of August, 2024. And of course, it's very exciting. We're in a very exciting moment now. So Mike and I, we are discussing today the topic which says, what is the rationale of what Mr. Mafara is doing now with Unpassive? I don't expect my, uh, Ash, um, Mike to say so much about my topic. Let's just listen to Mike. It's Mike Ellis. Anyway, so let's hear what he wants to say. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Comfort. Yeah, no, it, it's it's always exciting to be here, Comfort. It's it, 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 it's just a really, really good place to come and talk to about talk about on passive. And your topic, your topic is very, very good. The rationale of, of Ash Mufara. And, and really, that's what I want to talk about today. Where are we within on passive? Where are we going and where are we going to end up? And, and over the last, I would say the last month, Mr. Mufara has come on and, and he's, he's really opened up to the affiliates within on passive. He's told us what's going on within on passive. And he's told us that the things that have happened within on passive lately, they were really, really bad. Uh, but at the same time, we understand that Mr. Mufara has things under control even more than that. Uh, on passive is a done deal. It's not going anywhere. It is, it is going to be moving forward. And as I listened to Mr. Mufara over the last month or so, it really was the story of on passive for the last year. This is not something that just happened. It is the story of the last year. And as I as as I listened to Ash, I read a quote the other day and it brought me right into on passive and and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give you that quote. I'm not going to tell you where it came from. I'm going to let you ponder that a little bit. I won't tell you yet. And the quote is this that mankind is more disposed to suffer while evil is sufferable. And I heard that, co that quote and I said, whoa, that is unpassive. You will suffer as long as you're willing to accept evil into your life. And if you do that, I can tell you flat out, it won't get better. It will get worse and worse and worse, and evil will overcome your life. Well, that is not on passive. We will not suffer evil. And if you listen to Mr. Mufara, <coughs> excuse me, over the last month, you understand that evil snuck into on passive. And you have to understand, Mr. Mufara, he's got a really, really good heart. And when he engages with people, he engages with good intent. He doesn't think these individuals will do things that aren't, aren't honest, ethical, and clean. That is unpassive. And what happened is evil got their nose under the tent and came in full bore. And what they were trying to do was kill, steal, and destroy, period. They wanted to come in and destroy Mr. Mufara and his family. They wanted to come in and destroy Unpassive. They wanted to do things in their nefarious ways that would just eliminate Unpassive. And obviously, they would do the things they do when it comes to the when it comes to the apples, the money of Unpassive. But that is not Unpassive. We will not suffer evil. And you have to understand, Mr. Mufara, he is a brawler. And most people don't get this about Mr. Mufara. You come in and you want to get into a fight with Mr. Mufara, you better be loaded for bear because he will not quit. He will not back down. He will do the things that are necessary. He will do honest, clean, and, and ethical. He will do the things necessary to take care of not only he and his family, but on passive and his reputation. And he has done that. On passive, it is a done deal because of what Mr. Mufara has done. But it's more than that. And here's where it gets really, really interesting for all of us. Do you think the evil came in just to take care of Mr. Mufara and on passive? No, no. When you think about it, they came in to rob your house. 
They came in to steal everything you have. They came in to put you into the dirt. Why did you come into on passive? What visions, what dreams, what, what aspirations did you have as you came into on passive? A hope and a dream. We came in to take care of that financial bottom line, to take care of, of financial freedom and liberty. We came in to be able to live the lifestyle we want to live, to have the to live the dreams we have. And when evil came in to take care of Mr. Mufara and on passive, it wasn't just him. It was us. It was us. And you have to understand that. They didn't come in just to destroy him. They came in to destroy us. And that's not going to happen. We will not suffer evil. For me, this is a really, really good place to be. It really is. I already know what Mr. Mufara has done because he's explained that to us over the last couple of weeks and he's taking care of business. Now it's our turn to engage in the battle. And this is not a difficult thing, but how often in your life have you had the opportunity to look evil in the eye and to be able to engage him in the battle and know you're going to win? And believe me, as an individual, just myself, I can do very, very little. I can fight the battle, but me alone, I just can't do that much. But us as a group, as a million strong and more and counting, we are unstoppable. And it's really, really important to understand this is not just Mr. Mufara's battle. This is our battle. They came after us and I will not stand by. I will not stand back and let evil succeed in the in the schemes that they brought into the into the picture and they won't period so you and i and this is so cool how often do you get a chance to do this how often do you get the get a chance to really engage in that battle of good and evil and we're on the good side honest clean ethical we always have been we always will be we get to do that now and i'm going to tell you how Mr. Mufar has done the things he needs to do. And, and believe me, the picture is even brighter and even better than you think. And, and do I know all the, the aspects of what Mr. Mufar has done? No, but I can guarantee it is so much better than you can even imagine. And as we move forward on Passive Stars to Roll, we are in a really, really good place. You are going to benefit in ways you never thought you were going to benefit. But here's what we need to do. Here's how we need to engage. Here's how we need to engage in the battle. In the next weeks to come, in my opinion, Mr. Mufara, he's going to continue to come out and update us. He is going to do the state of unpassive. I don't know quite when. It's like the state of the union in the United States. The president comes out and just say, you know, tells how, how everything's going. Well, Mr. Mufara is going to do that with unpassive. It is the state of unpassive. And as he does that, he's going to have things for us to do. Okay. And I believe that's going to happen this month. We'll see. But I, I, I do believe it's going to happen this month. And on passive is going to start rolling in a big, big way. When, when Mr. Mufara comes out and asks us to do the things we need to do, we need to come in and engage. We need to do those things. Now, do I know exactly what those things are going to be? I don't. I don't. It's not important. I don't care what they are. I know Mr. Mufara. I know his heart and everything he's going to be doing is going to is going to benefit us. It's going to benefit on passive too. We want that. We want on passive to be able to have longevity and, and last for generations. So it's going to be good for on passive, but it's going to be good for us too, whatever it is. And as we come in and, and engage and we do the things that on passive, what Mr. Mfar is going to ask us to do, uh, we are going to have the kind of longevity that you can't under you can't you can't even comprehend. And as he does that, we need to come in and do them, whatever they are. And I know whatever they are, they're going to be very, very reasonable. They're going to help us. They're going to be things everybody can do. And as an army of one, an army of a million, if we come in and do the things that Mr. Mfar asked us to do, we are unstoppable. Unpassive cannot be stopped, not because of what Mr. Mufara does, although that's a major part of it. It's because of what we do. You, you don't understand the power that we have as individuals combined. We have so much power 
when we engage, when we engage in the battle, when we engage this evil that's tried to take our dreams away from us, we are unstoppable. And this, and this is, for me, this is where it gets so exciting because we actually get to see what we're going to be doing. Not what Mr. Mufara is going to be doing, what we are doing. Mr. Mufara has been engaged in the battle for over a year, okay? We, we've been in a position where all we, all we had to do was watch. And again, I've heard all the comments about on passive, and you all are wrong. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. Where we are today is exactly where we want to be. You know, the journey is a wonderful thing. But when you get to the end of the journey, when we've reached all our goals, when you have financial independence, when you're able to do the things you want to do, you think that's that's the joy. That's where all the joy comes from. You're wrong. The joy is right now. It is in the battle. It is, it, it, it is being in the battle with Mr. Mufar and all the other affiliates that are out there. This is such a wonderful place to be, not only because Mr. Mufara has learned his lesson that he can't trust everybody on the corporate side of Unpassive. You have to take everything with a grain of salt and you have to protect yourself. He's done that. And in ways you can't even imagine. He's going to share that stuff with us. And you are going to be flabbergasted, absolutely flabbergasted. But today, as, as the days and the few weeks roll by, Mr. Mufara is going to come to us. And he's going to tell us, this is what you need to do. This is what I need you to do. I need you to engage. And as you do that, and we, as we roll out on passive, we are going to be in places you can't even imagine. And as, as, as uh, August goes by, and then we get into September, October, November, December, those, those months are not going to be passive months. Those months, things are going to be happening with an on passive that are going to get you very, very excited about your life. And in the end, that's what's important. How is your life going to change? How can you take care of your family? Are you going to have financial independence? Are you going to be able to live that lifestyle you want to be, you want to live? And I can tell you, based on what I've seen, based on what I've, what I've heard, the answer is absolutely. But we have to do what we do. We have to engage. We have to engage in the battle. We are that pit bull out there that when people walk by, they go, Oh, 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 I don't want anything to do with that thing because they will bust me up. And that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be busting people up. It's, it's going to be a really, really fun time, guys. And believe me, whatever Mr. Mufara asks us to do, it is for our benefit. It will not be difficult. Come on in, engage, do what, do what we need to do. And then, yeah, we're just going to start busting people up. It's going to be a very, very, it is a very, very fun time right now. Comfort. I'll kind of well, end it there. You can you can put in any comments you want in. We can go wherever you want. Yes, uh, Mike. You know, for, I've never felt like this. I know each time you come here, you fire us up. I felt so emotional. At some point, I felt like you were preaching to me, mm -hmm. and then it's all just falling in line. I was like, oh my god. You know, it's because uh, we, we evil cannot overtake us because Ash is here is fighting, and yep. so I was just like, how I think in addition to what you are saying is. Ash is just an instrument of change sent yep. by God. He's being used by God yes. Almighty. And that's why you keep saying we are unstoppable because he says that and all of those. He's not saying that from himself. It's just the power, the yeah. supernatural power from above that is working in him. That's how I really look at it. So I think that truly uh, it's just uh, so big. And of course, it was snuck up or uh, snuck in, as you said, what doesn't kill you, they say, can only make you stronger. I think Ash is getting stronger. Those of us who believe in this mission, we are getting stronger because everybody is learning from whatever is happening. And I think this is just another state we need to enjoy, as you are saying, uh, Michael. So I, I I agree, hundred percent, Comfort, and and I, and I love your passion, Comfort. <clears throat> and you know, people say you need to keep emotion out of things. You don't. You need to be emotional but it's disciplined emotion. Emotion is a very, very good thing. And, and, and when I started to first understand what Mr. Mufar was going for, going through, I got very, very angry, but it has to be disciplined. And when you start to understand what Mr. Mufar has done, that emotion of anger turns into emotion of joy and excitement. So emotion is a really, I don't want to live without emotion. I love to come on here and see your emotion because it gets me pumped up, Comfort. It really does. 
And every affiliate that's out there, if you understand what comfort is going through, if you understand what unpassive is going through, you understand you are in the place of your life. You don't get to experience this anyplace else. There is no place in the world I know of you can go get involved with a corporation and experience the things we're experiencing right now. It is just an awesome place to be, my comfort, and never, ever, ever lose that emotion because believe me, it is powerful and it will drive people to the place they want to be. You know, when you were listening or when you, I was listening to you, I keep hearing Ash's voice, but you say so many things, just exactly what he says, but in other words, these are the, the pointers. These are the things that make me just focusing on that big uh, picture out there because I know that it's sitting there waiting for us. Whoever is not seeing it, it's just, I'm just like, I'm not sure because you would hear I say, we are here to change the world yep. and nothing less. And he's doing it. He says, dream big, work hard and stay focused because success is inevitable as far as Ash is concerned. And of course, he says together, you know, we can achieve greatness because unity is our strength. So, Mike, I can go on and on and on. But if you have any other thing you'd like our people, our I, I, audience I, I, to know, just go for it. I, I do comfort. I do comfort. Uh, Unpassive has not changed, guys. It hasn't changed. It's gone through the evolution the way it had to. It, it had to do this. Do you think a billion dollar company was going to get away scot free without evil coming in and trying to steal, kill and destroy? Do you think that was going to happen? There's no way that was going to happen. But as you listen to on as you listen to Mr. Mufar, comfort's right. You get emotional about what he's gone through, where he is, and what's happening with an unpassive. Because it's not just happening to Ash Mufar, it's happening to all of us. And, and unpassive is so unique in that way that we literally get to experience what Mr. Mufar has gone through and and it's part of us. It's part of us. It's part of our interior. It's part of what we're living for, living through. We are part of his journey. And believe me, Mr. Mufara will say this over and over and over again. The power of unpassive, it is people. It is comfort. It is myself. It is you. And because of that, it's given him the energy to do the things he's need to do, he needs to do. And he will always, always do what's necessary to protect your dream. And that's so important. Again, unpassive has not changed. Comfort said it earlier. We are here to change lives. And in a very, very short period of time, you're going to be able to change one life. I don't know who that is. I don't know where they are. You're going to be able to change that life. And one life changed in a positive way is priceless. You can't put a price on that. But I think you're going to be able to do more. It's not going to be one person or two or 10. I think it's going to be dozens based on what you're doing. And it's not that you're going to do this for everybody, but you're going to start the ball rolling. You're going to start that snowball and it will turn into an avalanche. That is on passive. That is what we're doing. The tsunami, it's not coming, guys. It is here. So we're in a really, really good place. Over the next weeks, Comfort and I and others will continue to tell the story of Unpassive. Mr. Mufara will come out. He will share more over the coming weeks. I think August is going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome month. And then as we get into September, October, November, December, man, just hold on because it's it's just going to that 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 tsunami is just going to build and build and build. We are going to be swept in it in ways you can't imagine. So, yeah, comfort. This this is just absolutely office. I awesome. I think the affiliates that are listening, you you can get. I tell you what, if you're getting out of bed today, and I'll, and I'll end with this comfort. If you're getting out of bed and it's really really difficult for you to get up and get going, you need to get over that. You need to throw those covers up. You need to say, this is a great day and you need to move, move forward because you are winning, even if you don't know it. And within Unpassive, as I've said, you are unstoppable. You will win. Come on in, engage, do the things Mr. Mufar asked us to do. And from there, it's just gravy. It really is. Comfort, go ahead. 
I know, Mike, I'm just, I, I'm just like nodding and nodding and nodding because I just hope that this touches someone and guys, uh, whoever is watching this, let's do well to share because one thing I would say, Mike, I know that you, you thought it was your last, but at some point you feel that you want to say one last thing. I'll still let you because we just need to guard our minds, you know, because so much is happening out there. People have chosen, some people have chosen now to go after the negative. And that same energy you're spending on reading the negative things that people are saying is the same energy you should have used here to tap yep. the right knowledge. So yep. we need to be careful. On passive is not going anywhere. It's here to stay. It's not Ash's mission. It's just, he's just the, that instrument God is using. Nobody's stopping on passive. It's yep. going and it's seeing it's, it's the logical destination. Let's just stay on course and keep on keeping on because it's ours and we have work to do, Mike. When on passive is ready, we will be going around the world. Comfort, comfort. I agree with you 100%. Get rid of the negative. You don't need it. Stay on the positive. Understand that the best is not yet to come. The best is here. Stay positive, guys. Stay positive. Things are going to change in ways you can't imagine, and you're absolutely going to love it. I'll end it there, Comfort. Go ahead. Sure. Thank you. Thanks so much, uh, Mike. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Go ahead and share like comment if you haven't yet and of course let us know whatever anything you want to know just drop a question in the comment section i'll bring mike back and bring any other person back to explain things to us the way we need to know how we need to behave now thank you guys and see you soon thank you mike for coming been a joy